I'm on Beach Hawaii and I'm on a hike. So let's talk about the five top raw feeding beginner mistakes. Number one is not doing enough research before starting. I know how exciting it can be when you discover fresh food and you just want to transition your dog onto fresh food right away. But I can promise you going as fast as you possibly can will not benefit you and your dog in the long run. Take your time, do your research, gather what you need to know. And when you're ready, Go as slow as you and your dog need because I promise that will make it easier on you in the long run. Number two is adding too many supplements. Now I know more than anybody there is abundance of supplements out on the market and while supplements are needed in a DIY diet to fulfill certain nutrient gaps, adding too many unnecessary supplements at a time can not only overwhelm you but your dog's system as well and possibly cause some rocket butt aka diarrhea. So just feed what you need to feed, bare minimums at first, and then as you get used to it, you can add additional supplements if needed. Number three is bones, either not feeding them, not feeding the right type or size. Bones are essential in DIY raw diets to provide calcium. It also supports mental and physical enrichment, but not feeding the right type, whether it's too small or cooked or smoked, can have consequences. You wanna make sure that you are feeding the appropriate bone, so always a non-weight bearing, raw, meaty bone, and the right size. So for example, I wouldn't feed a chicken neck to a Great Dane or a turkey wing to a Chihuahua. I have more information on the raw blog if you need a more clear layout. Number four, introducing new foods too fast. Especially when you're transitioning onto a raw diet, you want to be adding new foods or new proteins very slowly and gradually, otherwise you will run into rocket butt, aka diarrhea, and just with an overall upset GI system. So you wanna add it little, little at a time and not over flood the system with brand new foods, especially if they're rich like venison or elk or such other proteins. And number five is comparing your bowls to Instagram bowls. Especially if you're a new raw feeder, comparing your raw bowls to ones on Instagram can make raw feeding seem way more complicated than it is. And I promise you, even those raw feeders are not making their bowls picture perfect every single time. If you wanna see some truly relatable raw bowls, you can look under Messy Bowl Monday or the Grave Raw Bowls in Instagram hashtags to see what true raw bowls look like. But if that's stopping you from feeding raw don't even worry about how pretty the bowls look it's simply for human aesthetic as always i hope you enjoyed and make sure to comment below a mistake you made when you were raw feeding beginner or if you are a beginner and always keep exploring